Hi, welcome to Apache Pig tutorial. In this series, we are going to talk about introduction to pig, why we are using pig, and some of the pig characteristics. So, pig is an open source data flow language and it is called pig Latin. Data flow language means that it allows users to describe how data from one or more inputs should be read, processed and then stored to one or more outputs in parallel. It opens the system to non-Java programmers. So now if you don't know Java, you need not worry. You can do the processing using ping. It also provides common operations like join, group, filter, sort, which are uh, very easy to do with pig Latin, which were really difficult when you did it with MapReduce. And it was originally started by Yahoo and it was born the out of desire that they needed some language that could easily solve the problems because MapReduce programming was getting quite difficult. And many MapReduce users were also not comfortable with declarative languages such as SQL. You can visit pig.apache.org for detailed documentation. And now it's an open source project under Apache. So why we are using pig? Simple reason, 10 lines of pig statements could be 200 lines of Java code. So why not use pig? So pig is an obvious choice over MapReduce. If you see a word count program using MapReduce, you can see hundreds of lines here. But when you go for pig, that just covers in 10 statements. So pig is a high level processing layer that sits on top of Hadoop and it's make, it makes use of both the Hadoop distributed file system and Hadoop's processing system MapReduce. So it provides an engine for executing data flows in parallel on Hadoop. It uses MapReduce to execute all of its data processing. And internally, the pig code is converted into MapReduce. Let us see some of the pig characteristics. Pigs can eat anything. So pig can operate on any kind of data, whether it's structured, unstructured. It can operate on data relational, nested, and on uh, to operate on data beyond files, including key value stores, databases, etc. Pigs can live anywhere. So pig is also like that, can live anywhere. It's intended to be a language for parallel data processing. And it's not tied to one particular parallel framework. So it, it, was in, in, it has been implemented first on Hadoop, but we do not intend that to be only on Hadoop. Pigs are domestic animals. Pig is designed to be easily controlled and modified by its users. And it allows integration of user code wherever possible. So you can write your own UDFs in various languages like Java. Pig has an optimizer that rearranges some operations in Pig Latin scripts to give better performance, combines MapReduce jobs together, etc. So programmers write commands in Pig Latin, which is a scripting language. And that is quite easy to use rather than writing a MapReduce code in Java. Pigs fly. So pig can process data quite quickly. So obviously pig is a preferred choice over MapReduce. And pig Latin is much lower cost to write and maintain than Java code for MapReduce. So obviously pig with these good characteristics is a preferred choice over MapReduce. Thanks a lot. You can mail us at info at the rate bigdatatrunk.com.